is Crystal from Pineapple Papers, and it is the last Wednesday of the month, which means that we are doing Off the Board. Off the Board is a series where we take those pens that we spend hours and hours upon pinning and actually use them. So some of our inspiration is scrappy and some of it is not. So Mine is kind of inadvertently scrappy. So um, I have this pin of all the washi tape on like a embroidery hoop. And I think I might go back to that particular way of my washi tape and I might use it because I have it in a bin now and I just don't use it. So my idea is to take this washi tape book from Paige Evans and to basically mimic the washi tape that goes around. Now, the, that washi tape is um, like in rainbow order. This is not going to be in rainbow order. This is going to be random. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of my randomness and then I will go off screen and finish. I think that I don't think I used any other washi tape other than what was from this book. So that is super exciting. And uh, then I am going to take it to my sewing machine and mm -hmm. I am going to do a messy circle all the way around to kind of give you the idea of that's what's holding it down. Um, well, I guess in reality, that is what's holding this washi tape down. I don't know about you, but sometimes washi tape is good. Sometimes it's not. Um, and so this washi tape won't come up if it comes up on the edges. That's okay. Now, I did already have this white paper cut down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I am going to back it on... Uh, I think this is a pink fresh paper. So I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of November. And I actually made this one in the beginning of the month. This was one of the first ones that I made. Um, and I, I think I was I don't know what my thought process was because it was the beginning of the month and now it's the end of the month and I was like, you know, I don't think I've done the voiceover. So I'm doing this adorable picture of my great niece. So I am going to start working on her album. I, I did get that background paper and then matted the photo in it and then flipped it over and matted it again. So the two mats behind the photo are just the one piece of paper. So in reality, amazingly enough, I only used one piece of pattern paper on this layout. Now, those fussy cut flowers were just hanging out on my table. They were from Bloom Street. And so I popped those down. I'm going to go through the ephemera that's in my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I'm going to pull a few things out. So I'm going to pull this journaling spot that says today. I'm going to pull out a heart and a camera. And that actually might be it from that. So I'm going to pop those down. I'm going to go through what else I have in my How to Kill a Kit with Style. So right now I'm going to look for a title and, oh, I do add that cute little heart. I uh, probably could have added the pink one too, but I couldn't get it out at the time. It has since popped off and is hanging out on my desk somewhere. So that will be happening. Uh, so I get one wood veneer piece on, and then I'm going to settle on this woohoo <laughs> um, title. Now, funny enough, she's obviously not happy, but she's still cute when she's not happy. So uh, we're going to go with it. <laughs> that is going to be our title. Now, I have a ton of these little dots, and I am going to use a ton of them up here. 
and I'm just going to scatter them about the page. Uh, something I would normally do with sequins when it comes to a wreath, I like when, when the sequins kind of go all the way around the wreath, but I had these kind of enamel dot type pieces and I wanted to use them. That uh, piece of, I don't know what it is. It's not, it's not ephemera. It's like a sticker sheet, I guess. We're going to call it a sticker sheet. That sticker sheet is almost used up. And, and for me, for the most part, how to kill a kit with style is really to use up my stuff. I really do like to kill it and only have packaging left if I can get away with it. So I am going to add one little tiny word sticker that says, oh yeah, um, as, as just another little kind of funny pun to, to the, the title with, with her cute little picture, but that's going to do it for me. So I hope this inspired you not only as like a washi layout, but to use your pins from Pinterest, make sure you check out the description box below. There will be links to everyone who is playing along this month. Um, it's always fun to see what they are getting inspiration off of Pinterest from. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to chat with you. Remember to wear your crown and I will see you next month for Off the Board. Bye.